I think the Philadelphia Eagles and the Baltimore Ravens might meet in the Super Bowl in Vegas. Now, I'm not sure. I want to be. I want to state that for, uh, for a fact. The San Francisco 49ers are not a team that I'm going to summarily dismiss. I'm not going to do that. But I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Because when you look at the Philadelphia Eagles right now, and I'm not concerned in a good or a bad way. I have no, you know, I have no, 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 no stake in this fight. I mean, it would be nice to see Philadelphia avenge their Super Bowl loss to the Kansas City Chiefs by getting back to the Super Bowl and winning this time. That would be nice. It would also see the San Francisco 49ers avenge what transpired in the NFC Championship game when they lost not, I mean, another quarterback. Four quarterbacks last season. Remember that from the San Francisco 49ers. Four quarterbacks. Okay, they started with Trey Lance. They and they and he goes down. Jimmy Garoppolo goes down. Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, comes on the scene and starts playing lights out. But then he gets hurt in the NFC Championship game. And of course, Josh Johnson, a scrub. Uh, I wouldn't say a scrub. Not gonna disrespect the brother, but clearly not one of the top three quarterbacks. Okay, for the San Francisco 49ers, and he went down. They lost four quarterbacks. They had Christian McCaffrey behind center. And one could easily argue that that is the reason the Philadelphia Eagles advanced to the Super Bowl because there was no NFC Championship game because the San Francisco 49ers couldn't even throw the damn football, okay? Well, now we fast forward to a few months later and the Philadelphia Eagles are 10-1 and on the season. They're playing lights out. A.J. Brown is still an MVP candidate. Devontae Smith has elevated his level of play, okay? This kid, DeAndre Swift, looks Absolutely brilliant running the football for the Philadelphia Eagles. The offensive line is one of the best in football, okay, even though Jason Kelsey had two false start penalties that were uncharacteristic for him, all right? And then you've got Jalen Hurts, who is without question a leading candidate for league MVP honors this year. He is starting to get healthier, it appears, with his knee and his ability to run the football. That has opened things up for the Philadelphia Eagles, and as a result, even with the San Francisco 49ers coming on strong, even with them capable of winning games on the road, one has to wonder, are you going to be able to go into Lincoln Financial Field in the city of Philadelphia, okay, for an NFC Championship game on the line? Are you going to be able to handle your business on the road? I'll tell you this much, I'll give them a better shot than I gave them last year when they didn't have a quarterback. I'll give them that much. But the Philadelphia Eagles, it's all about what you're imagining, which team has the strongest level of motivation. Is it Philadelphia because you lost the Super Bowl and you're out to capture a Super Bowl championship come hella high water? Or is it the San Francisco 49ers who believe they're the ones who should have been in that Super Bowl against Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City and would have been last year if had it, if it had not been for losing four quarterbacks in one season and two in an NFC championship game? No matter what way you slice it, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to see something from the Philadelphia Eagles because they went against Buffalo. They went against Kansas City on Monday night. They won both of those games, although one could easily have argued if Marquez Valdez-Scantlin had not dropped a surefire touchdown catch in the end zone, okay? A bomb, a 52-yard bomb, if I remember correctly, something along those lines from Patrick Mahomes. Kansas City would have won that game, but the bottom line, it didn't happen. The Eagles won, and then they come back six days later. They beat Buffalo on their home turf, and now they're going up against San Francisco and Dallas over the next two weeks, so we're going to find out a bit more about the Philadelphia Eagles as the season progresses. But when it comes to the San Francisco 49ers, I'm just telling you right now, I'm looking at San Francisco coming on strong and I'm saying to myself, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know, but it's going to be real interesting to find out. And whether it's Philadelphia or San Francisco, as thick as the AFC is with Patrick Mahomes, with Trevor Lawrence, even with CJ Stroud, quarterback in the Houston Texans and what he's able to do with them offensively. OK, with the Miami Dolphins, not to be slept on as prolific as their offense is with Buffalo, even in a loss with a six and six record with Josh Allen playing the way that he played on Sunday against the Philadelphia Eagles with the Buffalo Bills accumulating five hundred and five total yards of offense with Diggs, with Gabriel Davis. Buffalo could have easily won the game. On Sunday, if Gabe Davis and Josh Allen hadn't miscommunicated on a route that he was running into the end zone where Gabe Davis went left and Josh Allen threw it right. They score that touchdown, game's over, Buffalo wins. Having said all of that, again, you can't dismiss Buffalo. But I think it's clear to say, and it's safe to say, the Baltimore Ravens are the best team in the AFC right now. 
Don't give me Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City when you got receivers that can't catch the damn ball. I'm not sold. I'm not buying that. That's not going to work with me. I'm not going for that one second. Not a bit. You got to be able to catch the football. I'm not worried about Patrick Mahomes, but I am worried about those receivers. In the case of the Baltimore Ravens with Zay Flowers, with Lamar Jackson, with Odell Beckham Jr., with Gus Edwards running the football, with that defense playing like a bunch of Rough Riders, it's hard to summarily dismiss the Baltimore Ravens right now. It just is. Right now, it looks like the Baltimore Ravens and the Philadelphia Eagles are on a collision course for Super Bowl 58. But San Francisco may have something to say about it, which begs the question, who do you think has the best chance to interrupt the proceedings, per se, for a Philadelphia-Baltimore match in the Super Bowl? Is it Kansas City? Is it Miami? Is it Jacksonville? Is it San Francisco? Is it Dallas? Is it Detroit? All of these are legitimate questions, which is why the NFL is so special, because stuff is heating up, it's getting thick, and it's getting that much better.